In this video, we're going to be looking at the data deduplication feature that's included in Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, and Server 2016. We're going to be looking at a VM today to accomplish the installation task. We already have a E drive. You cannot install data du deduplication on the C drive, so you have to have another drive letter besides C. It can't be installed on the boot volume. So within the E drive, this is where we store our backups. We have daily backups, such as our domain controller, exchange server, and our SQL server. We also have monthly or manual ad hoc backups in this directory as well. Currently, you can tell that we only have 256 gigabits of free space. We don't have data deduplication turned on yet, but we will in just a minute. The first thing to remember with data du duplication is that you cannot install it on the C drive or any boot volume. To install the feature, open up Server Manager, click Local Server, go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. It's a role based and by default it's going to select the server we're on. We're going to expand the File and Storage Services, File and iSCSI Services, and then we're going to select data deduplication. Click next, click next, and then install. Okay, so we can see the installation has succeeded. You can go ahead and click close on the message and Go back to Server Manager, Local Server, and then when you view the File Services um, tools, you'll be able to see the data deduplication feature. So File and Storage, and then you're actually going to go to Disk under Volumes. So you can see we have two disks, one's the master boot record, the boot drive, and the other is our um, actual storage that we're working on. So we've got a red, it says we need a repair on this drive. So I don't wanna repair it right now, it's unlikely you'll see that same message. What you do wanna to do to set up data deduplication is right click on the drive, click configure data deduplication and currently it's disabled you would change it to general purpose or VDI infrastructure now for our purpose today we're going to be doing general purpose file server VDI infrastructure it is amazing how well it works so for example I had four VMs set up that were all server 2016 and it was using approximately 40 gigabytes of storage space after enabling the virtual desktop infrastructure server uh, data du duplication, I only am using 11 gigabytes. So that's huge if you have a lot of VMs. So deduplicate files older than in days. I'm going to change this to one because these are updated daily. And then hit apply. And that's basically it. So what happened just now, if you look in scheduled task, you're going to see several entries for uh, this this feature. So let's take a look at those real quick. So if we go to Task Scheduler, Microsoft, Windows, deduplication, you're going to see three entries were made. The first one is background optim optimization. This happens at 1.45 a.m. every day and weekly garbage correction, collection and weekly scrubbing. So I think if we go back here and look at the advanced features, you can set the deduplication schedule. <clears throat> so we also want to do enable throughput optimization and you can run that at the same time and you can even do that twice a day. I'm going to just leave it the once a day for now and click OK. So let's open up task scheduler or task manager and let's sort our processes here. I'm going to manually kick off that optimization that we looked at in Task Scheduler. And let's 
go ahead and do our uh, background optimization. So we can see it's running. Let's go to details and see what uh, we should see a process come up here soon. Okay, Microsoft File Server Data Management Host. So that's what you'll actually see when the task is running. So I'm going to pause the video, give this a few minutes. Uh, we've got quite a bit of data on this volume, so it might take it 15, 20 minutes. We'll come back and we'll see what our free disk space is. We might have some save space, we might not because of the nature of the data that's stored within here, but I'm expecting us to gain maybe a fourth of our space back. So let's wait and see. So the process is still running. It's taking much longer than I thought it would have, but we've already reclaimed uh, about 30 gigabytes of free space. So I'm gonna continue to let this run and we'll come back in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. As you can tell, we have 349 gigabytes of free space. When we started the video, we had 256 free. The process is still running and it has been for several hours. That's partially due to the volume E being on an iSCSI share instead of a local fixed disk such as a SAS or SATA drive. Hopefully from this video you can see how if you have one file that's copied to multiple people across your organization in multiple folders within the same drive, the space savings that you could accomplish. So this is a huge new feature that was put in 2012 server. It's also available in 2012 R2 and 2016. So hopefully you found this video useful on how to configure and set up the data deduplication.